Okay, my friends, Roger once again, Mud Fossil University, Happy Traveler, put up this about Catatombo, Catatumbo Lightning, the most electric place on Earth. Watch this. And, and I have an explanation for this, I'm pretty sure, which no one else does. Ha 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 ha. Here it goes. The Catatumbo Lightning is an atmospheric phenomenon in Venezuela. It occurs only over the mouth of the Catatumbo River where it empties into Lake Maracaibo. That's the key. It occurs only there where it, this um, river empties into Lake Maracaibo. Only there. And man, it happens, and it happens with regularity. Now listen. The frequent, powerful flashes of lightning over this relatively small area are considered to be the world's largest single generator of tropospheric ozone. It originates from a mass of storm clouds at a height of more than 5 kilometers and occurs during 140 to 160 nights a year, 10 hours per day and up to 280 times per hour. It just blew my mind. I didn't know about this. These kind of th I love this kind of stuff because and nobody knows why it happens. And not only that, I think we can harvest this, some of it anyway. Here it goes. It occurs over and around Lake Maracaibo, typically over the bog area formed where the Catatumbo River flows into the lake. Contrary to myths, the type of thunderstorm and attendant lightning produced with the Catatumbo storms are no different from highly electrified thunderstorm complexes commonly seen in many parts of the world. In other words, Catatumbo lightning isn't a rare or different type of lightning, and the storms are not in a different class than ones observed elsewhere. The single remarkable feature of the Catatumbo storms is their formation in the same place and at the same time for, what many sources say is, nearly half of the nights throughout the year. There is another thing that is extraordinary about it as well, is they do not have thunder storms. Thunder. The thunder is not, they don't hear the thunder. That's what I, I was told and I'll we'll look into that in a second but uh, let me just finish it up that's all she has to say I think yeah that's it now okay well as you know I'm a chemistry guy and I understand transition metals and what's in bone meal is exactly what you see there aluminum iron magnesium calcium manganese or, or, or aluminum this is very very organic and this is heavy in the rivers of the Katumbo River surficial sediments. So in other words they almost have a layer of metals in the the layer of the where the water washes out. Well also what's washing over the top of it is more of this stuff. Now it looks to me like I have seen uh, well let's take a look well, I, I can tell you why this is the most uh, excited place on earth as far as electricity goes. It's more or less of a, a venture, which I showed you or I will show you. Now, they're doing some crazy mining here or, or whatever. This, uh, well, look, this is from the earth. Now, whether they're mining or not, I don't know. But the earth c creates these different minerals and metals, and they're coming down this river, and then that river empties in to uh, Lake Maracaibo and it comes down through a venturi, literally a venturi, just like we do the light experiments. There it is right there. And when it starts to pressurize here, it blows out in these spots and creates, literally creates electrical discharge. I know it sounds crazy, but I looked into the chemistry and the chemistry appears to be that this bed, the sedimental layer of the bed, is loaded with these transition metals and these transition metals are identical to the metals that are in in bone meal which is aluminum magnesium manganese sodium calcium all of the transition metals the transition metals that are in 
body chemistry, and they're also in the conductive materials. Aluminum copper is just unbelievably conductive, and it creates all kinds of extra electrons. Anytime you see a whiter glow than a darker glow, it means you have accelerated and excited the particles. This is not sediment. That is accelerated particles. Those are accelerated energetic particles and, and they, they are being pushed ooh, into these particles and anytime you push to shove you end up with a glow literally a glow now what's happening here is that is ex these are electrons these are extra electrons I'm telling you that's my claim that's my case now what's going to happen here How, what, what, are, what are we going to do with those extra electrons well we need to, uh, to, we're going to end up having such a source of electrons to discharge into the earth that it's going to suck them right out of the air in and flow with them right into the earth and that's what's going on all around this whole area and they, they say it's right there this is exactly the spot that it happens and to me I see th that this bed is a conductor what's flowing over the top of it is also a conductor of, of particles, those are conductive particles. If there's, if the bed is made out of these metals, these metals are flowing in the water. As they flow, they charge. As they charge, they got a discharge. When they discharge, they discharge into there, and that's the white discharge. Now, what does that mean? Why is it happening on only these certain days? And how, why is it happening on most? Are they smelting up here? Are they, are they mining up in the other area? Are they? Is it just a, a heavier rainstorms during these particular days where we're getting more flow? Is it a higher flow of, of water on those days? Whatever those things are, and I'm going to tell you right now, that is the, I think that's the key right there to this pressurization anyway. Now, then you get a restriction down here, and anytime you have a restriction, you end up with a just like I showed you on uh, on the um, light experiments. I mean, there might be some other ways to work with this where you can get that electricity before it discharges into the ground because it's trying to suck electricity out of the air. If you can get some resistive stuff in between that does work between the air and the sucker, <laughs> the electricity is going to go through and end up going through and going into ground, but at the meantime, we can use it to do some work in the, as it's being sucked down to the earth. you only got this area to work with, really. To me, I would think about it a little more carefully. There seems to have a lot of juice going on there. All right, as I showed you before, I claim these are electrons actually being forced into that water. Now, the same thing can happen with a Chinese water bowl when the, the, it vibrates, it and it's push, 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 and you'll see the actual cloud flow in there. And I'm going to show you that with the slow mo guys. They're fabulous. All right, these are the slow go, slow mo guys. 2,500 flame, frames per second. Now this is a Chinese water bowl. They go e -e 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 -e, and the vibrations push and shove electrons in and we'll actually see the electrons start to flood in here just like we're seeing over at uh, Lake Maracaibo. Watch this now. These guys go so slow. Now watch right here. You see those? Those are electrons. You see the, the glow? Now, watch how it gets like fuzzy looking because it's literally loading electrons in. It's shaking them, pushing them, pushing them, pushing them. And that is what this does. That's what happens. Now, watch it get fuzzy. See it getting fuzzy looking? Oh, yeah, wow. That's wicked. You see that? That's being loaded with electrons. They're loading that area with electrons. And then you see them start to glow over there. Those are extra electrons. Watch. See that movement in real life. You see them glowing? I guess I was distracted by the water, but the whole bowl is like... See, now they're going to be glowing everywhere. Those are the electrons being pushed out of there. Real time. It takes... 
ages to get it going, but then when it's going, it just goes crazy. You see that? Now you see that glow? That's the glow we're seeing in Lake Maracaibo. That's the glow. It's, it's excess electrons. You don't see all the excess electrons shooting out of the water here. It's just as much vibration here as there is over there. Probably more. These are electrons. I'm telling you, it's push or shove. Anytime you see that, you see glow. Whoa! Look at the bowl wibbling. It's like a giant speaker. Yeah. I like how perfectly it's been designed. Anyway, that's, that's, that's my claim. It's time to look at things a little differently. I think we can do a lot better than we're doing right now.